I can't believe that I believed that. What? I, 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 I. What up all you fish tank amazing ninjas out there? What we got right here is fish tails. And today, we're gonna talk about misconceptions. Guys, we, and by we, I mean I want to talk about this. What is the biggest misconception or lie that you believed enough to practice or that you knew someone believed enough to practice? Basically, name the biggest misconception you actually witnessed in real life. All right? I think this is a great idea for a video response, so please, if you want to partake, let me know in the comments below that you made a video reply to this, and I'll go check it out because I, I would love to hear the crazy, funny stories that like we believe when we first got into the hobby. It's amazing how gullible we can be when you first get into the hobby. Like, now that I know all the stuff I know now, I look back at myself, and I'm like, how did, how, that doesn't make sense. Hit that like button for self-reflection, guys. It's an amazing thing. All right, so the story at hand is this. I'm actually, I've actually made a lot of mistakes in the 10 years that I've been in this hobby. But nothing has been more wrong or has been more messed up than what my brother did. He actually, in... I believe this to an extent, but he believed the, the store clerk person when he said this fish will only grow as big as the aquarium it is in. Now we all know that is wrong. When you do your water changes, when you feed a fish, they're going to grow, whether it be long or wide. Like That fish is going to get bigger, guys. Just trust that. And it doesn't matter how big the tank, unless it gets so big that it can't move and it just keeps growing to the point where it becomes the shape of the tank. So you're going to have a rectangular fish or cube, whatever. But and that's the only time it would stop and it probably isn't stopping. It's just getting messed up. All right. So about 10 years ago when we first got into this hobby, I bought an Oscar. Now I bought this Oscar at a very small size and it went into a 55 gallon mixed African cichlid tank. Yes, I mixed them. That was one of my mistakes. But my brother loved seeing this fish chase other fish and loved how mean it was that he decided to get an Oscar himself. Now, my brother did no research and did not listen to nobody. He went to the store, asked for an Oscar, which was already a couple inches big, and told the guy that he was going to put it in a 20-gallon long. Now, the aquarium store owner told him that the fish will only grow to a certain size based on the size of the aquarium it is living in. Now, my brother believed this, and I believe this too, to an extent, but my brother really pushed this to the limits. After about a year, two years, this fish got so big because of all the live feeding that my brother was doing and how much overfeeding he was doing that... The fish literally took up half of the tank. The fish would only like wiggle its tail one time, hit the end of the tank, turn around, wiggle its tail one time, hit the other side of the tank, and I was just like, man, this fish is too large for this tank, brother. And he didn't want to believe me for the longest time, but eventually I was able to convince him that that was wrong. So he asked me to find someone that would take this fish. Luckily, I had a friend that wanted a large Oscar and decided to come over to pick him up. That right there is the biggest misconception or lie that I've ever witnessed in real life. Leave a comment below. Let me know what the biggest misconception you've ever witnessed in life or if you made a video reply to this and include the solution to your misconception in the video, please. All right. Also, hit that like button for self-reflection and don't forget to subscribe. I got videos coming at you two times a week at least every Sunday. Expect something different every Wednesday. Expect an update on either Beauty or on Beast. And every Friday, if I'm lucky and I have time to do it, I will give you another random video. 
Also, check out my fish tank hooligans talking about Danny Alano and his discus planted tank shrimpsness and my boy Fishy Drizzy with his reef looking all good. And don't forget to do amazing things like a video reply on the biggest misconception you've ever witnessed in real life and the solution to it. Guys, till next time, tank like a boss. Cause you're a boss, and that's how bosses tank.